If you're about it, Chaser, take a poster. If you're anything else, take a seat. You going after Lindsay Waffles? I might be. Or I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot, the Lamone Raiders. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militias, you know. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of all of us. Don't tell them I said that. now.
Time to go, boy. you what did I tell you get the hell out of hey, here calm down maybe you can help us it ain't like this is going well really oh, shit <laughs> nothing to lose I suppose come on the truth is mister our last batch of shine didn't turn out so good you think you can help us with locating some ingredients? We could reward you for your troubles. Why not? World could always use more moonshine, right? I saw some milkweed nearby. Oh, yeah? I have some with me. Go on, lazy bones. Toss the plants into the batch so we can test it out. Place them in the hatch on the side of the still. All right. I'm going to give this a taste. with shine, not at all. Tastes like licking liniment. <laughs> uh, that ain't good at all. Ah, oh, well, can't win them all. We'll try again later. Damn. We got a rare victual in that chest there. Take it. I'd say you earned it. Appreciate it.
Easy, easy. You all right, boy? Okay then. Easy, whoa.
Lindsay Wofford, I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. <sighs> a federal warrant? No, 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 that don't mean much in a sovereign territory, mister. We've been beaten down and driven out enough. Let's make a stand, boys. We need a man on the cranker. Get him. Uh, I don't know who this no- ah! Ah! is, but we will know the writers. Boy, you ain't gonna-
That's the easy walk. We're gonna take that body. You're gonna. Everyone wants a piece of you, Mr. Wofford. Ah, oh, this gets you back. Yeah. This wind's really got an info. Be damn stupid if you think you can come back here. I believe this body's worth something. Well, now, so much for them boys being the terror of the South. <laughs> Drop that raid in the cart out back. Come around for your bounty. That's what they were, and not a penny more. Gracious of you.
didn't get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure. You okay, bud? No. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall have the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> they won the silver tongue American betray and not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity in ways you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Ways I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté. Hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. My friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Mm. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of Genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling it. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to the ship and shoot with torpedo. The mines, they're magnetized, remember? You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No holy system underwater. Only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the H.L. Hummel. Eight perished to a mere five on the Housatana. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like that. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Or 
torpedoes do not have so much range. I'm an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket ship. It's a small boat. Those mines are not so small. Carefully. Now, bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now, the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! Sure. You're not here for this smart talk. The steam drum. The telegraph machine. The motor car. They will all see the pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice. That can rule the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. And was this not difficult? It was difficult, but it was not difficult for me. You... <laughs> and then, as I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my European course. Let's get you cleaned up. Come on now, boy.
Howdy. Dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. A very good choice, sir. Rat in his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Make him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hope you have a George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't win any up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's the mark? Is he all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. 
made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> 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 to hell with it. Now, nah, I'm out. Think I'll wait for this seat to warm up a bit. I thought as much. Maybe you should have another drink, Mr. Callahan. Here we go, then. Hello, Let's my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. 
Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but uh, I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Call. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, um... Where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. <laughs> I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Oh, shit! Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. 
If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. My friend is not a no cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. Ah! Come on, Arthur. I gotta get out of here. That was I'm gonna die here. Dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here.
a problem. Help. Can somebody help me? Open your eyes, fool. Now that's what I call a good day's work. What the hell happened? Just let the law handle this. Don't worry. I see. One name is Oh, sorry about that. Got the best apples Welcome here. Welcome back. Oh, okay. So, buy and selling. Okay, let's take a look at it. All made to measure. Sell to stores. You want my wares? Right here's the one place to find them. Well. Track in the rare beast yet, huh? <laughs> it's tricky. get the train up north, be sure to look out the window just before you get to Roanoke. I saw a white elk up there once. I went back on foot, of course, but mm, nothing. Why would I want so? The commotion from the cemetery? I must have heard 20 gunshots. These are brave robbers. Mm. Every well, one of my garments is a little different. Every pelt is a little different. You'll find them nowhere else. Thanks. overrun with rats. I'm losing business left and right. I need to get someone to get rid of them for me. I'll pay very well. I just need it done. All right, calm down. Let me see what I can do. 
Oh, thank God. Just be sure not to bang around the place too much. I'll wait out here. Thanks, mister. Take this. Who earned every cent? I killed worse. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It what's this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before, I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. I think hold, hold that it's Greek. That's far too modern for my taste. Mr. Chardonnay, he's just a... Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chardonnay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame. I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her... Delicate! <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. 
Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh, <laughs> oh. come on, horse. We are leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. <laughs> Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass! <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! <laughs> Hello there. and understand the importance of safety in nature. According to the great teachings of our master, this land is our heaven, and the two oceans are our shells. It is only here that we can truly be ourselves where man can find his place in heaven. This, this is Chelonia, 
the one true American's religion, the one true Bible that was handed down 100 years ago this year to our prophet from above. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? Uh, I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about a hundred years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is, not what life could be, but what it is. And it is very dangerous. But with Chelonianism, it can be safe. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a little. I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. You're too slow. I only lift the finger when I need to. the truth and rejoice for you are saved and already in paradise okay oh, fella you have the wisdom to understand you. Land sakes, how you doing? You here to try this town's wine or women? Or just whatever's cheapest? Oh, d don't mind me. I'd head out full chiseled if I was you. Unless you want to be... You're lucky you ain't suffering death by race.
You've been good out there. Working hard there? I guess. jokes. It ain't nice, and it ain't brotherly. <laughs> I mean, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Oh, look, there's old Big Bill. Oh, look at him. Ain't he so dumb? Well, I ain't so dumb. Well, of course you ain't so dumb, Bill. You're just averagely dumb. Thank you. That means something. Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. I'm not yeah, smart as you. Or now wait, wait this. If I'm just as smart as Marston or Arthur or any of them. Uh, better than nothing exactly. here. Exactly. So Good job, I, Mr. Morgan. You're fine. Oh, it still hurts. It does. Yeah. People call me dumb. It's like people call me lazy.
Everything okay? Yeah. Well, don't you look slick. Uh, Trelawney got me all tarted up for that riverboat job. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, then. So it's a city bank, and then we're off. It's what you wanted. It's what we need, if we can manage it. City banks are hard, but we got a lot of guns. You think we can do it? I How hope so. You? I really Thanks, do. Yeah, glad to hear it. Morning, Mr. Morgan.
I once saw a gate from a 40-foot swell. I once crossed the equator during a meteor shower. I rode into a harbor surrounded by beautiful maidens selling pineapple and colors. Colors so brilliant they burn your eyes. Waiting to get shot for riding without loss. Well, I never took you for the self-pitying soul. You awake yet? I'm sleeping, Arthur. Take it easy. I'm just needling you. Damn it, Arthur. Let me sleep. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. How you doing, Mrs. Zedler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on. We need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover! Our Driscoll boys are coming!
Get those doors down to quick. Good. Now, everyone, I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Is everyone accounted for? Oh no! I think! I always said that Kieran's lost his head. Shit! Sadie, I gotta go help her. Cover me! I found me one of their women! Sadie, Sadie, I'm coming! I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess.
Come here. Hey, boy. Morning. I can't believe those pigs did that to him. The kid? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Mary Beth. Hi, How's Karen. That food looking? You're a hard worker, Tilly. Hi.
Come on, pal. I'm still picking the dust out from my teeth. So what do you say we go again? First one of Catfish Jackson's. How could I say no? Ready? Let's go. Just had the edge today. Damn it, not again! I'm about ready to send this horse to the bone yard. Good race. Could have gone either way. I wish things was different, but hey, be safe out there.
you're leaving me, huh? Show. Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this then. <laughs> Is Mr. Black's fault? His fault, the darky white. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And All I'll right. tell you, on. you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss! Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough! Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Don't try Jack and raise any more hill around, around here. here. No. Hello, mister. Hey. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh. <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah. It's a people. Yeah, a bunch of... Nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. And I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, <laughs> I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you... Man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back. Now they expect me to take care of him while they're gone. That's just how it is. Hello, sir. Yep. Hey, folks. Mister. I can scarcely believe it. Well, that's just fine, then. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. 
Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? No damn manners. Uh, 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 a feather punch. This gonna enjoy this. What you wanted? Bounty. 